Alright, so today I'm going to walk you guys through a quick download of a program called TeamViewer. TeamViewer is what us in the IT profession uh, use to do remote logins to clients' computers. Um, so basically, I'm, I would just have you download this software, and that would allow me to log into your um, computer and do virus scans, tune-ups, anything I need to do. It would show me your whole screen and let me control your, your, your mouse and keyboard as long as you give me permission. So you just got to go to this website, www.teamviewer.com. And then you're going to want to go to the download section. And we're actually already in the download section here. Um, and then you're going to want to click Windows, which I already have. And that will bring up the Windows download. Um, you're just going to click to download. It's going to bring up a download um, file. You're going to click Save. Then you're going to go to where your downloads are located. Normally your download folder. And you're going to open that and start and run the program. So we're starting the program now and we're going to pick to run a just a default installation. Um, you can also do a run only, which is a one time use. Um, so it's up to you if, if you think uh, you're only going to need this one time or you're only going to need someone to log into your computer that one time, then maybe just do that. But I tend to like to um, have it on my computer just in case I need to log into it at another point or have someone log into it uh, down the road. So you just uh, leave it on default installation and you're going to want to click um, personal. If you click company, it won't work properly because it's going to want you to pay money. Um, this is only free if you're using it personally, not for commercial use. And then you're just going to want to hit accept and finish. And then click yes to allow control. And go ahead and extract your file and install it for you. Then once you do that, you'll be able to allow someone to remotely log into your computer. So this is a little, it's going to open up this quick walkthrough on how to use it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you minimize that all you need here is this id number you're going to go ahead and give that to the person that's logging into your computer and this password here um i believe every time your computer reboots it gives you a new password if i'm not mistaken um that way the person that logged into your computer last time can't just try to log back in again um you can also change it by hitting this here uh refresh button Leave. Yeah, create new random p password. Oh, you can also set a personal password if you wish. Um, but all the person's going to need is your ID number and the password here, and that's going to allow them to gain remote access to your computer. And let's see if I can show you that. Yeah, so I'm just going to enter this code here using my team viewer on the computer that I'm actually on because the computer that I am showing you is what we would call a virtual machine. It's a computer inside a computer. So now here we are and it's asked me for the password after I put in the code. Put in the password and as you see on the screen, now down here bottom right it says that I am logged in. So now I can take control of the mouse, which I do have control of it, um, and I can do different things. So pretty much that's all you need to do to install TeamViewer to your computer and to allow someone to remotely control your device. Uh, this is great for giving control to an IT professional to clean up or run virus scans or give your uh, computer a tune-up.